Hello dear students, in this video I am going to take up an important problem of numerical ability which is very co common in competitive exams and students often get confused while answering this one. The, one of the questions which I am going to take up is written in the title here is 47 power 7 minus 22 power 7 divisible by 69? Well, if you don't know the concept how to find this this cannot be solved and moreover these type of questions if you know the concept can be solved within two to three seconds only yes that is the beauty of mathematics when you are aware of the concepts everything is easy so let's take up the rule first what is the rule the rule says whenever you have two numbers raised to the same power like x raised to power n and y raised to power n. See the power is same but the bases are different and we need to subtract that. Now obviously x is greater than y so x power n minus y power n will be a positive term. Now how to verify that this expression is divisible by a particular number or not. Usually the number, the numbers which are given in the question uh, by which the divisibility is to be checked, that number is a particular number which is either the sum of the bases x and y or the difference of the bases x minus y. So the rule goes like this, this x power n minus y power n is divisible by x plus y now see I have taken the sum of the bases and I am telling you the divisibility by x plus y when will this expression be divisible by x plus y now this happens only when I am writing it in block letters only when n the value of n that is the power is even so whenever the power is even, then this expression is always divisible by the sum of the bases. This is the first two. We will take up some examples to understand this. The second rule states, I will take the same expression x power n minus y power n is divisible by, now this time I will take x minus y, the difference of the bases. Now this expression will always be divisible by x minus y irrespective of whether the power n is odd or even. So in both cases this expression will be divisible by x minus y. So when n is either even or odd. Now these are the two rules which I want to discuss in this video. So let's take some examples to find out how this rule can be applied to questions. Now I'll take a very simple example of 5 raised to power 4 minus 2 raised to power 4. Now see x is 5, y is 2 and n is 4. Now see here n is 4 which is even. So when the power is even then the number is divisible by x plus y. So x plus y is 7. So it is divisible by 5 plus 2 which is 7 and when it is even it is also divisible by the difference. So it is also divisible by 5 minus 2 which is 3. Now let us check this. See 5 raised to power 4 is actually we are actually doing verification. So 5 raised to power 4 is 25 square 625 and 2 raised to power 4 is 16. So if you take the difference 609 and just check divisibility by 7. 7 uh, 8 are 56, 49, 7 7 are 49. So it is divisible by 7 and divisible by 3 obviously because 9 plus 6 is 15. So this is a very simple example of this concept. Now if you want to take the odd powers, we can have a different example. Suppose we have 11 cube 
minus 7 q. Now see the power is odd here. So whenever the power is odd, this expression will only be divisible by x minus y, not by x plus y. So this is divisible by x minus y that is 4 but not by 11 plus 4, 11 plus 7 that is 18. So divisible by 4 but not by 18. So you will be given options in this term only and you can verify it very quickly now. 11 cube is 1331 and 7 cube is 343. Now 331 if you deduct 331, this will be 1000, but you need to deduct 343. So 12 more. So this will be 988. Now you check divisibility by 4. This will be 4 to the 8. 18, 4, 4 to the 16, 28, 4, 7 to the 28. Now see exactly divisible by 4. Verified, but it is not divisible by 18. So this is the very important concept. Now you can just check this one, the statement which I have written on the top using this amazing concept. Now see 47 raised to power 7 and 22 raised to power 7. Now see n is 7 here which is odd. So whenever the numbers are odd, then this expression is divisible by x minus 5. So divisible by 47 minus 22 that is 25. So expression will be divisible by 25. Whereas it is given here, it is, is this divisible by 69? Now 69 is the sum. So sum, this expression is divisible by sum only when the power n is even. But here power n is odd. So it is not divisible by 69. So divisible by 25, but not divisible by 69. So the answer for this question is not divisible. So, if you know the concept, things are very easy, but if you don't know the concept, this concept is going to consume a lot of time in exams and I'm sure even after spending a lot of time, you will not be able to get the answer very, very quickly for this one. So, this is the concept which you need to master and obviously, if you like the video, you do, uh, do share it with your WhatsApp contacts and groups and subscribe the channel.